So we have another video out of China. You have a brother and a sister and this sister is pregnant. Mind you, she needs to go to the hospital. And when she and the brother is trying to go to the hospital, they're once again, not allowing black people to get into essential services. Hospitals are essential services. It's not nothing luxury or some special club, but I want you to watch this video that the brother recorded. Uh, this is the place. Hopefully they don't send us away, which I surely expect. Hello. Uh, okay, check out. Do you want to? Speak Chinese? No, 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 I don't speak no, Chinese. Chinese. Okay. Check. Uh, waiting, waiting. Wait. Waiting, So they want to say foreigners are not allowed in the hospital. This is what I expect them to say. Foreigners are not allowed in the hospital. Oh, no. no enter. Oh no, why? Why? Because she's a foreigner. Uh, why? Because she. We cannot enter. But then she's pregnant. We want to scan. Um, I actually expected this. Okay. That is why I'm recording. So what is happening here is we went to some hospital. My wife is pregnant. We wanted to do a scan, but they cannot let us in. Foreigners cannot be let inside the hospital. Yep. We go. Mesha, mesha, mesha. We go, we go, we go. She's pregnant. You don't attend to foreigners. Where we come from is how you have to treat us. Huh? You don't have anyone who speaks English here? Yeah? Mm -hmm. I might call police here to ask my it's okay. You know, it's fine, no problem. It's okay. I don't think it's necessary. No, it's okay. It's fine, no problem. Thank you. So you will sit here and allow a pregnant woman to stand outside, not see her at all, because she can't come in because she's black. This is beyond even what some things that we see. Listen, it's bad what I'm about to say. It is very bad what I'm about to say, but you don't even see racist white folks turning you away at the hospital. You don't even see it. At least they play the game a little bit better than what the Chinese are doing. The Chinese are being extremely savage with it. They like, they not have no decorum with racism. They're just like, man, look, you black, you ain't coming in here. I don't care what they say. Let me go talk to my boss. Oh, you, he say you black. You can't come in. She pregnant. 
you're black. You can't come in here. Okay. And this is the attitude that they have. These videos that constantly keep coming out of how black we are being treated. So we looked at a video of a black man. They didn't want him riding the bus. They call the police on him. They were disgusted by him even being on the bus because he was black. Now we have this video can't go in the hospital, even with a pregnant woman. Once again, brothers and sisters on the continent, this is up to you and this is on you to respond to. You can't ride a bus and you can't go into the hospital. Okay. Now you got all these Chinese running around the African continent. How many hospitals are you going to allow them to go into now? Are you going to tell them the same thing? Hey, you Chinese you can't come in here. Well, I can't come in. What you mean? You can't come in here. He said, because when I watched that video over there in China, they wouldn't let black people in. So why should we let you in? Why don't you tell your people to stop doing that? And then we'll let you back in. And to, I'm telling you until the Chinese go complain at the Chinese embassy that, Hey, the Africans are doing exactly what we're doing and it needs to stop because they are just basically giving us what we're giving them. This is a test. My brothers and sisters on the continent, this is a test to show either you're going to put up or shut up or be just straight run over and colonize. It's on you. It's nothing that I can do. I can speak for you much as I can. I can show the videos. I'm doing my part there, but it's on you to let the Chinese know on the continent that either you are going to respect you as a group of people, or you're going to lay down, let them run over you and colonize you. Cause understand that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to colonize you. Okay. You talk about, Oh, well the West, listen, the West and we know what they done. Now you got a new colonizer trying to come in. He's trying to get all your resources. Look at the videos that's been presented here last week, African tiger, shout out to her. She showed a video of the Chinese that went way out a place. Tourists don't even go to go to a land where there's a gold mine. And they trying to do all kinds of dirty deals to take their land from black people. That gold they would take from there would go to China. It wouldn't stay in Kenya. These people are trying to do no different than the previous colonizers done. They're the same people, the same mindset. Okay. So you got to take a stand once and for all, this is the decade for you to get free. And the young people that's on the continent now is your job. These old bought and paid for sell out Negroes. That's your leaders. They bought and paid for. That's why nothing improves in your country. They are bought and paid for many of you. When we come over. You say you want us to come to, to the continent. We need to come home. We need to invest. We need to do this. It's going to be on you to make that happen. Understand it's going to be you to say, we demand our brothers and sisters in a diaspora to come back and we need to make it easy for them too. They need permanent residency, South Africa. Let's talk about you. I looked at the numbers. You got 1.5 million Chinese in South Africa. Do you have 1.5 million of uh, folks from the diaspora there? Maybe you do, but I doubt it. 1.5 million. And how many is in South Africa illegally? How many? See, this is what, this is what I got to present to my brothers and sisters on the continent. I need to get you this information and need you to take a stand because we can come together, but we all got to put in the work. Understand? We need you on the continent putting in the work to put pressure on your government to make sure the brothers and sisters could come in because how I feel about it, there's no such thing as an illegal person. If you're black in the continent, that's how I look at that. If you're black, you belong there. And I'm telling you to deal with the Chinese, we all have to come together. We, we have, you're going to have to have that black American energy come in because we understand the colonizers. We understand Babylon. We understand capitalism. We understand the West. Trust me on that. We know what the Chinese are on, but they're trying to play the same playbook that we've seen already. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is let's put in the work so we can come together. I know a lot of you say come together, but we got to do the work on both sides. And we need you guys to fight for us to get in there, to make it, you know, with residency, citizenship, we got to have that because you know, you got to have stake in the game. Citizenship and residency is stake in the game because the Chinese doing everything they can to put their people there. They're trying to dump all their people much as possible on the African continent. Now they're trying to tell y'all, we want y'all to start learning Mandarin. Y'all need to start teaching Mandarin. The hell go to China with Mandarin. No, you want to speak. So speak Swahili, speak that not no Mandarin, but that's the way a colonizer work. Understand 
a colonizer brings his food, his language, his everything, then try to get you to teach your kids his things. And after a while, they won't know Swahili no more. All y'all be speaking Mandarin. No, you can't go to a hospital. No, don't allow them to do that. They wrecked in their Chinatowns all over the place in your communities. No, don't let them do that. Those people come in and do some dirt. I'm telling you country allowed them to do a lot of dirt. Now it's biting them in the butt with this Corona and the virus It's biting them in the butt right now. And they, and they trying to get themselves out of it. Don't be like America. End it now. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the situation with, with the brother and sister came and go to the hospital being turned away from something that's essential that every person needs is medical care. But brothers and sisters, you got to take a stand once and for all. Don't depend on your leaders because a lot of them are bought and paid for because if they wasn't bought and paid for the African continent would be so much better than what it is today.